Why is my unit set to heating, but it's blowing cold air out of the vents? Why is the reversing valve energized when it's supposed to be de-energized? T4 Honeywell thermostat. Today I'm gonna to show you how this thermostat can fail and what can happen. How do you know it's failing? How do you know you need to replace it? Today you're watching Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad. Hit the like button, subscribe, and smash that bell, ding, so you know what I'm doing. Let's go ahead and check out the call to the reversing valve, measure the voltage, then go inside and talk about what could be wrong. And then eventually, we're gonna replace this thermostat. Let's go. Here's our low voltage connections into our defrost board. This is a heat pump outdoor unit. We're checking from C to O. And we've got 24 volts, but we should not have 24 volts. Why? Because we only energize the reversing valve when we're in the cooling mode. And you can see we're building up ice because this line, this vapor gas line, is supposed to be super hot, but it's not. It's cold. So why are we energizing the reversing valve? Let's go take a look at the thermostat. And here's the other thermostat that I'm going to use to replace the thermostat with. Just want you to see this. You can see it's set to 70. It's in heating, the heat is on. Now it could be the programming. So what I'll do is I'll hit the menu and the plus button and it'll say ISU. I'll hit select, this is for non-programmable. And then we've got 200, which is heat pump, air source heat pump. And then we'll go to 218 and 218 if it's set for zero, it means we're using the O. We're energizing in the cooling operation, the reversing valve. And then if you push it to one, it uses the B, energizes in heating. Okay, now let's scroll back through this here. And let's go take our thermostat off the wall, make sure it's wired correctly. Is it wired correctly? We got a call for cooling, call for the fan, G, common red so between c and red that's 24 volts we got our e terminal emergency heat we got our aux terminal hooked up that is our auxiliary heat and then here we go the orange wire is the wire that's used for the reversing valve see the o slash b okay so it could be the programming but it's not we just checked that i'll show you the installation manual so you can see for yourself Here's the box for the T4 thermostat. Here is the installation instructions. And you can see right here, when we're looking at advanced setup options, we've got 218, reversing valve O or B. We've got it set to zero, which means we're using the O terminal. We're energizing in cooling mode. And we could be using the B. Now, some units like Ream and Rudd, they energize in the heating operation. So they energize the reverse valve in the heating operation. We are not doing that. We have a York unit. So York, American Standard, Carrier, those types of brands, they use the O terminal and energize the reverse valve in the cooling mode. Let's go take a look at the unit. All of the thermostat wire down into the basement where the air handler is, just to make sure that the orange wire is not connected to the the red wire okay okay so it's not the orange wire which comes from the o terminal of the thermostat should go to the outdoor unit straight to the outdoor unit and it shouldn't be connected to anything else unless we have a terminal block inside this air handler which we don't so make sure the wire is not touching any other wires make sure it's not shorted all right let's close up this air handler before we go any further, take the old thermostat off the wall, and then let's put the new thermostat on. Now, it's been in my truck, so it's 45 degrees. Set to heating. All right, we'll wait and see what happens now. Now, we got the meter on volts AC, and we are gonna check from C to O, and it looks like We've got no voltage. So with the thermostat being replaced with a new T4, now we're not energizing the reversing valve. 
in the heating operation. So this line is getting nice and warm. That's awesome. I see the temperature rising. This was not hard to troubleshoot. It was easy to find out that this thermostat's bad whenever you check the wiring, because it could have been improper wiring. It could have been that the thermostat wasn't programmed correctly, but being that the thermostat was programmed for a heat pump, and it was programmed to energize the reverse valve in the cooling mode, but it was energizing during the heating mode, we know for sure it's a bad thermostat. If you want more videos like this, go check out my playlist, HVAC Tips for Technicians. I've got over 400 videos of live in the field experience as an HVAC technician, so go check that out. If you wanna learn more about a heat pump in the heating mode, how to charge it properly, and also the refrigeration cycle explained during the heat mode and how the refrigerant travels, I've got a video for you. I'll drop down in the link in the description, the playlist, HVAC tips for technicians, and I'll also drop a link to that video on how to charge a heat pump in the heat mode. A few more bits of information on setting up the thermostat, and if you want this manual, type in Google search bar, type in T4 Honeywell installation instructions. You can get a manual online, you can download this manual so that you can have this information. So we went to step 200 and we set it for two because it was a heat pump. If you wanted to set it for a gas unit, you would put step 200 on one. So it would be conventional forced air heat, but we chose two. Then up here for step 205, we chose seven because it's a air to air heat pump. If it was geothermal, it would be set to eight. If it was gas, it would be set to one or two, depending on the type of gas unit. I wanted to show you that also uh, two stage. If it was two stage, then you would set step 220 for one instead of zero. So cool stages, compressor stages. And then, of course, you saw 218. I have a video on low voltage wiring and thermostats. I'll put that in the link in the description for you. Wanted to show you the terminals here. You see where it's gray? It says, not all terminals may be used depending on the system type that is being wired. The most commonly used terminals are shaded. So if you had a gas unit, you would be using the Y, G, C, W, and R. That's if you had a split gas unit, okay? Package gas. So see where it's shaded? You would be using that W terminal. We do not use that W terminal when we're using our heat pump. We use the W2. That's auxiliary. We also use the E. Okay. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Hope you learned something. It was short, but it was a good video of this thermostat going bad. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe, and smash that bell, ding, so you know what I'm doing. If you want help with your project, you want tech support, you want my phone number or my email, go check out my membership levels. Click the join button, become a member. Let me know in the comments that you joined, and I'll give you my email, and that'll lead to contact with me. Drop those questions down below because questions can become content. Thank you so much for watching. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.